Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that the line segment joining the points minus 2, 7 and D3 has a length of 2 root 13. And we've got to find the two possible values of D for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So the values for D are 4 and minus 8. Now if you didn't get those values, I'll show you how I would go about it. You've got to be familiar with the distance between any two points, let's say A and B with coordinates x1, y1 and B with coordinates x2, y2. And by using Pythagoras' theorem on the right angle triangle, we know that AB would be the square root of the sum of the squares of these two sides. And so we get this result here. So using that result then, we know that the length, 2 root 13, let's just put it down, must be equal to the square root then of the difference between the x coordinates squared plus the difference between the y coordinates squared. Now it doesn't really matter which way around you put your x coordinates or your y coordinates. Minus 2 minus d or d minus minus 2 would give you exactly the same result when you square it. I'm going to do minus 2 minus d though all squared. And then to this we'll do plus and I'm going to do 7 minus 3 all squared. OK. Now, if we just square both sides, then we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4, multiplied by 13. I'll just leave it as 4 times 13 at this stage, OK? And then on the right-hand side here, we're just going to have minus 2 minus d, all squared. And what I'll do here is I'll just write it out as two brackets like that, OK? And then here, 7 minus 3, which is 4, square that, and you've got plus 16. OK, well, 4 times 13 is 52, so I've got 52 there. And if we square this bracket, OK, we get minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4. And you get minus 2 times minus d, which is plus 2d. You've also got another plus 2d here. And then finally, minus d times minus d is plus d squared. And then you've got your plus 16. And we've got a quadratic equation here, so we need to put it equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is subtract 52 from both sides. But we start with the d squared. Then as the d terms go, we've got 4d there, so d squared plus 4d. And now we've got 16 and 4. 20, take away the 52, leaves us with minus 32. And this equals 0. Now what I want to do next is factorise the quadratic equation. So we've got two factors here, and it equals 0. So we're going to have a d and a d. And then we're going to have an 8 and a minus 4. Plus 8 and minus 4. So we've got 8 times minus 4 is minus 32. We've got minus 4d plus 8d, which is the 4d here. That means that each of these factors must be equal to 0. So you've got d plus 8 equals 0, or d minus 4 equals 0. And this will lead to d equaling minus 8, or d equaling 4. OK?